Hi everyone, welcome to a little game called uh, Risk of Rain, uh, which I'm going to be doing a co-op. Here's my uh, partner, uh, Pat. Say hi. Well, hello there, everybody. Uh, Pat, describe this game for us. I would probably say the best way to explain it is a 2D roguelike platformer with several different characters and some pretty fun level design. So he's um, introduced me to this, and I, I thought it was a little bit fun. It's like it's like fun for a little bit of uh, a good time. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna I'm gonna be playing sniper specifically, uh, obviously. Fucking me, sniper. I c come on, did you expect anything less? So this is like all his abilities here, uh, which I will show you in the game. But like this is just the description. And Pat will be playing Enforcer, which is this character right here, and uh, that's all of his abilities, uh, which. Uh, Enforcer is more of a defensive class, and Sniper is more of a, of a very kind of glass cannony, but like kind of like a sniper, but very powerful uh, class. And we're gonna be playing our first run of normal. There is like a boss fight that we can go to, uh, so we're gonna make sure we do at least one good run for you guys and show you the game completely. All right, so uh, as I mentioned, we're playing on uh, the way the game was meant to be played. So it's the, it's the normal difficulty for this game. There is a hard one. For hardcore players, and also a, a really s stupidly easy one. There's also artifacts here, which I have the ball. Uh, clearly, I cheated for this. Actually, I think I did. You did. <laughs> okay, but they're, they're just—it just you have to find them, and I and you know they just they add little twists to the game. I'm not activating any of these. Uh, we will probably activate a couple of these a little later. Um, but for the first run, this is gonna be mostly vanilla. So uh, let's get started. We'll also try to find the artifacts and show you how to unlock them when we come across them. So, Hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, me, well, if we see one, basically. So basically, um, this class here, I have my default attack, so I just use my default attack there. And it's got like a Gears of War-esque reload system. Uh, if you notice, I just have to press it again. Uh, so we're right now actually looking for a teleporter, which is the main goal of the game, is to get money, level up, uh, from said experience and money, uh, which makes you a more powerful character for damage and all that, while at the same time uh, you just open containers and I don't know shit like that. So like the the abilities are pretty interesting. Pat is much more familiar with with the abilities than I am. Like here we here we have some uh, some items that we can unlock, but I don't know which I, which one should we get Pat? The middle one is literally retarded, and I would just go for the random one for now. Okay. Wow, that's. I'm not picking that up. <laughs> Drop the spike strips, I'm being hit. Alright, let's clear out these jellyfish and we'll use that. Um, this game actually has a uh, increasing difficulty, as you can see up in the top corner. Our current difficulty is very easy. As time goes on, that's going to get tougher and tougher, up to the point where literally the game will start laughing at us and our just silly, silly shenanigans. But up until that point, it should be relatively easy goings. Maybe. No, we, we shouldn't have any trouble beating it on our first time here. And, uh, we're still- we're passing up these items because I simply don't have the money for this. I mean, we're, we're trying to find the teleporter, and the teleporter will activate a whole fuck ton of guys, so that's- that's our main goal right now. And that's- that's basically the progression of this game as you continue. Um... Okay, there's literally nothing here. The, the, it's completely random, by the way. There's no way for me to- oh god, I have to go this way. Mike, don't get fucked already. Come on now, we just started. I'm Sniper. Pat's got that. It's it's a fun game. I, I do like it. There's no mods or anything available for it, but it's you know it's kind of fun in, in co-op and you know it's it's just it's just kind of it is really good. Um, I hope it continues to get a, a development and maybe ha gets modded up a little bit as well because that that would actually make it really nice. Uh, I have a, by the way, I have a confession to make about Sniper. What is it, Mike? 
I, I swear to God, the first time I played this game, I didn't actually think that was a helmet. I thought it was like some sort of like fucking some sort of anime mini art style. I, I swear <laughs> to God. It, it, like, look, it looks like I have like a bow tie or something, like two ponytails or something. But it's actually this guy's helmet. It's a dude because it's all pixely. All right. Well, that this is the teleporter, and so we, now we have to stay alive, which a giant magnum worm will spawn, of course. So I will use my ability for uh, uh, basically de detecting his weaknesses with my little bot thing, and then what I can do is I can charge up a shot and then make a make a nice hit on that. Unfortunately, everything's gonna be chasing me here. Oh sweet mother of God! Yeah. Why is there so much shit already? Well, because they're fucking. Yeah, but there's there's too many colored ones. I don't like the color. Oh I'm God. Dead. Alright, well now it's up to Mike Lott to save the day. Oh shit. Oh shit. We've got a very nasty combo of enemies here. So Pat's already dead, so Pat basically can't make monies. Well, I can make money, I just can't pick up the items, and I have already got two items. The biggest issue that kind of was going on right there is in this game, occasionally you will have enemies that spawn with different color palettes that have different abilities, and there were like mm, probably a dozen of them in that group, and I kind of got fucked. Like, really badly, actually. Like, uh, that green one right there heals enemies, there was an orange one that does explosions. Sometimes it can be a red one that does fire. There was a blue one that did electricity, and there was there was just several of them in there, and I wasn't able to get away from them and died. This game can kind of get like a little bit clusterfucky uh, with a lot of enemies. Uh, it this supports up to like what forty players or something, but that's like cancerous. Yeah, it's ten by default, but you can set the number to anything. It's pretty bad. So like I'm very defensive. Whoops! I'm trying to charge up shots, by the way. Uh, because I, I, it allows me to pierce. I can pierce enemies and things like that. I'm just trying to take it a little bit carefully because we don't need to die in our first run. Hey. <laughs> you know what? It's a magma worm and a bunch of elites. What do you want from me? Yeah, I don't even know where the item was he dropped went. He just kind yeah, of died. Yeah, I don't died. either, actually. Probably at my body, so it's going to be back over near the teleporter. Why? I don't uh, know. I don't know. Why your buddy? Oh, the game updated in difficulty, so that's good. Oh, there it good. is. Oh. The rocket pack. There we go, cool. Rusty, okay, so I, I can have more jump jump height. Uh, what, what ability should I get here? The, he the health pack, maybe? Yeah. Or maybe the random. Well, I would go with random. Yeah, let's get the random. Oh, Thanks, Pat. By the way, right over there is one of the artifacts. I forgot how to get to that one. Is that through the thing at the... We don't have the available items for that one, sadly. Well, what do you have to do? Um, you see that little geyser right there? Jump on it and then go to the left. There should be a little platform you can jump on. Oh, that one? Yeah, right. No, right there, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you can almost jump high enough, but not quite. I had I had a little bit of a rocket jump thing. Damn. Oh, what a so shame. close. So what's uh what's the what's the twenty thing here? Let's see. That's gonna spawn a bunch of M's that you have to kill. Uh You're not gonna be able to do it as a sniper. It's too too much shit. Actually, yeah. So we don't have to leave right away. Well, we we should leave right away. Uh, what's what's this thing here? What's I forgot what this one was. The heals on kills. Uh, yeah, that sounds pretty good. Monster tooth. Ah, I see. Yeah, see, Pat knows what all the items are. I don't. So, you, you ideally want to go to the next stage as soon as possible because of the fact that, uh, stuff. No, it's it's mostly the fact that, like, the game does get harder as we're as I'm fucking walking around collecting items. Uh, I'm just getting them mostly because I can. Uh, it's good to... Yeah, you don't in this difficulty, the diffi it increases every five minutes. So, since we're six minutes in, it's gone from very easy to easy. So, you know. I'm trying to get That's down the there. tough shit. I also have a backflip ability. I, I may not have uh, uh, said that, so let's go identify this guy. Or no, he's not going to identify that guy. He's going to go somewhere to the fuck who knows where. Bufu fucking Egypt, he's right below you. I know, but th I think there's another one here. Oh, well, let me, let me go kill the imps. I've never seen this thing. Oh, I have to chase after them? Yeah. Fuck that. 
Oh. That's what I said, as a, as, a, as a sniper, this is fucking impossible. Uh. Well, so much for that. Rip. I Sorry, I didn't know that. <laughs> That's a new thing as far as I'm concerned. Oh my, they've been in the game forever. There you go. And there's one more over there. I have to finish off the enemies before we go into the teleporter, so... Yeah, usually it's not that big of a deal, but as you start going kind of all over the map, shit just spawns everywhere. There we go. And I could I could go somewhere and spend the money, but I think I prolonged this enough, so we'll just continue. And I lost all my money, and now we're somewhere else completely different. Oh well, we are in the damp caverns, the dark, deep, dank caverns. Mm. Oh. And over here we can find another artifact, except Mike jumped away from it, but who cares? Yeah, well, we don't have enough jumping capacity. No, we don't. Mo most of the artifacts, you either have to do some, like, really strict-ass jumping puzzles, or jump. It's it's mostly luck. Actually, jumping. It's luck yeah. in being the character that you are. The biggest issue is mostly getting the jetpacks. Those actually help a lot with getting some of the artifacts. I like Most the of the pets. stuff you won't unlock the first time through. Oh. Well, unless you're a dirty cheater. Well, yeah, like Mike. Yeah. Hey, Dick. What? I fucking love it. Where's the fucking teleporter? Well, I'm gonna say it's not up here. Now, mind you. The game, th th this is actually, it is a really nice game, like it's, it, I, I kind of like the design of it. Uh, and just like the simplicity of it, like it's, it's actually kind of fun, just in itself. Okay, let me try and get to the other side. There we go, I made it, so now I can go back to Pat. Oh, hell Pat's dying. Pat, not again, please. I know, there's more elite guys here. This is what snipers are here for. Apparently I fucked that up. Now, one of the things you may have noticed in the intro, uh, intro to this video, or what Mike had said, this game is actually uh, not developed by, but published by Chucklefish, who have been going through some odd times as of late. Well, what is the deal with them? What do they make? Well, one of the biggest things that Chucklefish is responsible for is a game called Starbound, which, and let's not beat around the bush here, is just Terraria in space. They've had really high hopes for the game, and they've released some screenshots of a really cool-looking game that has not oh. at all been actually released. It's right here. Uh, that's right. We can go all the way to the top. Sorry. Uh, I thought we couldn't wow. make it. Through. I'm sorry. Wow. Oh, shit. All right. I'm trying to keep them away. Just pot shot them to death. There we go. I could do a lot of damage. Oh, it's gonna be kind of bad. I don't know. Yeah, I, don't know. I can, I can knock them around. So I'm, I, I'm a professional. I'm a professional. I'm dying. I'm a professional. Should I, should I get the bear? I don't know. Uh, no, are. I'm getting that. I it's need a, the tank. So P Pat's gonna whore all the items. More or less. No, it's mostly just the tanking items. Which are pretty good. Most of the on-hit stuff and stuff that hits really hard is better for Mike. And also tanking items, but... Okay, do you want to take these guys out? I, I kind of don't want to die. Dying is, is unpreferable. Very. Look, look, look at them, they're, they're all under me right now. No, I'm kind of holding up over here. You can make it. Except this asshole is behind me. All right. There we go. We got it. All the money. Just gotta hide behind the shield and not, you know, die to that. Basically, Rockets. they have. Oops. Chucklefish has been um, accused of quite a few things lately. Most specifically, tax evasion, because they've gotten millions of dollars to produce Starbound, oh, and I'm they infected. haven't released a single update. Refused to put out any refunds, even though that's one of the things that they promised they would do. And just generally just haven't done anything, which is pretty shitty of a game developer, especially an indie one. 
Well, I, I thought they had some issues around that, you know? Well, one of the biggest things that's gone on is they've had to remake their game engine three times. Wow. Because they didn't plan anything ahead, so they added shit, and then the shit didn't work. So they had to remake the game around that, and then they had to remake shit again because they wanted to add something else that they had promised, and then that didn't oh. work, so they had to remake it again. They, they have very poor infrastructure, and they spent a lot of money on a house for their development team, and several of their coders were forced to leave because they wouldn't move to the house. Ah, uh, that's kind of shitty. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I don't know if I'd blame them for that. I think, like, they, they clearly have, like, uh... And you, you knock them up in the air so they won't get shot by my sniper, by the way. Well, that's not me. That's the Will of the Wisp item. Oh. Uh, which you have. Yeah, apparently. Uh, I, I don't know. Oh, I want a bomb. But, but it's a money bomb. I know. That's the best. Alright, I'm gonna... Oh, look, I can get a... Critical strikes increase attack speed. Stacks three times. Yeah, and doesn't that increase your uh, reload yes, time? Yes, it does. Or my charge. Hmm. I hey, made it. I got it. Wow. So, barbed wire? Fucking okay. hell, Mike. I'm not getting any items you can, like, are actually good for. What, are the, what does the barbed wire do? I didn't see it. Just you basically... It. it hurts enemies when you're really close to them. Like, you can kind of see the oh, aura yeah. around me. I see it. And I don't think you'll ever be that close Pat, as you, a sniper. Pat, you, you hurt me when I'm near you, you know? Oh, well, you know, that's... You hurt my feelings. But... Mike's on. <laughs> Why? Exactly. Alright, let's try going down, then. Because I have, like, a hundred money, so... I have three hundred. I have a lot of bitcoins. And I have a little turret there, as well, as you can tell. Turrets are kind of nice. I think you can have, like, a max of four of them. No, you can have as many as you fucking want. Oh, okay. Well, as much but as you can item afford. That summon, there's an item that summons four of them, but... I thought I thought there was a cap on it. No. Oh, can't get the. Me and Jason, me and Jason did a run once where we literally had just a cloud of turrets. It was it was kind of silly in a lot of ways. Uh, there's a butcher's knife up here. Damage to po uh, bleeding. One of the biggest things about this game is managing your time versus the items you get. You have to decide whether if looking around the map for these chests with the money is worth the increase in difficulty. Because as you can just see, we just upgraded to the hard difficulty. Yep, and Which... it will get progressively more difficult. Although the thing is, like, I have like 149 pesos, so, you know. I got 270. Uh, let's see this one. All right. Sure. So I can get that. Eh, might as well. Belong to low health. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the portal just because I don't have enough money, and Pat's gonna yeah. continue on and see if he can get anything else. Only one of us has to be at the portal to activate the next level. Yo, yep, but all the enemies have to be dead across the entire map, which you know, it usually just, try to good to kill everything as you go. It just occurred because to me. Of that. It just occurred to me this game has an intro cutscene. Oh, did you not get that? No, I didn't record it. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll I'll paste it in. Don't worry, guys. You guys you guys have you guys at this point have no idea what I'm talking about, so it's okay. Well, do they ever though? That's the thing. Yeah, because I was about to say like there's a backstory to this game with regards to the ship crash and all backstory. that. Backstory. Kind of story in video games, you know. All right, ready to activate it. One second, I got 30 more gold to spend, and I just got a fucking hyper threader. I don't know what that is. It just says pew pew. So okay. let's go. I have no money. I've never seen that item, actually. Oh, shit. I really like the music in this game. Let's be fair here. I don't think I've ever played a pixel game that had bad music. Well, you know... There could be some, but... They, I don't know why. They just tend to make really good music in, in these types of games. It's no, actually, it, it's a kind of music you like. It's not something most people make. Well, they, they put a lot of effort into it, you know? So, the, the, my little bot is making the, 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 I don't even know what the fuck that is. It's like, a, it's a giant horse, let's say. It's making him weaker. And the bison, I, just, right? I think I think it actually increases the critical strikes, I don't know, it was on the first screen. I just know, I have no idea. I just know I used it against bosses most of the time. What the hell's that? Um, that's lifesteal. Eh, uh, sure. I'll take that. Oh god. What have I done? You done fucked up. Well, and he's died in one hit. done dead. Okay. Chance to stun enemies. Well, that's definitely yeah. yours. Yeah, it's an attack speed kind of dealy. 
So, some things are better for attack speed. Um, I, I should mention we will be doing five runs of the game with every character. You will see them all. Yeah. With varying. Oh, here's another. Uh, here's another knife down here. One of the one of the things about Mike's character, he has an insanely high base damage, just because of the way his skills work. So items that work off how much damage you do work pretty crazily well on him. Like the dagger applies a bleeding effect based on how much damage you do, and because he hits like a goddamn semi truck being thrown on you after you got hit by a hundred knives, is uh, pretty good. Put it a good. A semi carrying knives. Well. Yeah. And I killed another ox. We will not Bison. go. We will not go hungry tonight. It's an it's an ox now. Is it the ox king? Uh, there's a. Oh, I've shrooms. made I've made two anime jokes in the past like three minutes, and I'm pretty sure they you went, didn't get either of them. They, they went completely over my head. I don't watch I anime. Know. Me either, to be honest. But I know the jokes. Well, I don't. God. Come on, did you never watch Dragon Ball Z? Come on. That sh that was the shit. No, Pat, I don't watch Chinese cartoons. For the little <laughs> girls? <laughs> exactly. I fucking love Tyrone. Best guy. 2012. Uh, and the ox is chasing me, but he's, he's dead now. Fuck, where is this stupid teleporter? There's like three oxes. Oh, here it is. I found ox eye chasing me. Ox so, you know, there's a colossus back here. Did you hit the thing? You might yep. want to come. Come in. Yeah, there's two of them now. Naturally. Alright, charging. See, Pat, Pat's just there to be defensive. And I'm just there yeah. to kill everything. Like, look how much fucking damage I did to it. I'll grab that, because that's a defensive item. It just oh. makes me top tanky. Right. And... Headshot. Nope. No, you grab almost, that one. Almost, almost a headshot. So this one, uh, I can't read the text. Increased health, health regeneration, and armor. So, when you're playing a cop, you can kind of like share items and stuff. Oops. I'm just and gonna I... go ahead and say, these little shits are getting on my nerves with the noises. You make the best noises. Exactly. There's another elite guy. That one's probably going to try to freeze us. I, I, I have him, uh... Targeted, there you go. Good. There are also a few secret side areas that are mostly Easter eggs, one of which can be found in this area. Kind of right above us. I don't think Mike's ever gone there actually, now that I think about it. Alright, charging. That didn't really hit the whole lot of them. Nope. Do you not does it not pierce like everything? Only a certain it's amount? Supposed to. Holy shit. Whoa. Are you dead? Oh no. No, I'm alive. Shit, son. But Pat, can you really be alive? No. I'm a ginger, of course not. Alright. Fucking. I hate these ox things. Maybe because they charge into you? No, because they're, they're, they're just so beefy. I, nah, should also, okay. I should also mention when I'm charging my sniper shot, I cannot jump, I cannot move. I just have to sit here and just kind of be a. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna kill this one. I, I heard I heard Pat's door knock, so... He, he will... I, I'm sure we'll be back. This unprofessionalism is unrelated to me completely. I'm gonna get a laser drone, though. I'm gonna get this, too. Heal after kills. I'm sure, I'm sure Pat's uh, just chilling with the ox over here. I, I, will, I will kill it for him. Fuck, I, actually, I can't, I can't go through that. It's, it's some sort of super ox. This place does not have my favorite music yet, though, but it's, it's still a really fun game, though. Yeah, that's another ox down. Ah, uh, piggy bank. Gain gold over time. And, oh, can't really do much else. And I'm sure whenever Pat returns, he's gonna want to you know, uh, spend some of his money, but I, I, will, I will just go up here and show you the top of the map here. Yep, it's pretty cool. See, I don't, I don't know how. Oh, actually, I can just go through this wall. Okay. Oh, there's a mirror. Creates a shadow partner for 15 seconds, which is a 
you know, it, it's it's uh it's it's okay. Here, I'll I'll show you guys. See, look, um, I forgot the key I'm supposed to use. I think it's G. Yeah, there you go. See now, see, look, I have a shadow right there, and and it will shoot too, making it uh, basically just double damage. It's gonna be crazy. And uh, I will just um. I will keep this going because something clear shit must be clearly going down at, pa at Pat's house. Actually, you know what? I can get that. I can get that rock in a second because of that piggy bank I got. And let's see what I get. Oh, fucking radio! Oh, I don't think I'll get that because that's that. This calls in bots, so it's basically like like Call of Duty. You count. It, you 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 call in an airstrike, and that's it. No, not really. It's just, it, you call in bots. More bots. I know I know. it seems like I have a lot of bots, but I don't need that money. And I guess, um... We'll wait for Pat to return. 